Hello guys, I'm very excited to share the new G model with you. Previously, I have covered various flavors of G models on the channel and I have always found them of a very good quality. Just a few hours ago, the company behind G has released this upgraded version of G, which is in various sizes and I will show you shortly. G 1.5 is an upgraded version of G. It is continuously pre-trained on G with the high quality corpus of 500 billion tokens and fine tuned on 3 million diverse fine tuning samples. Compared with G, G 1.5 delivers stronger performance in coding, math, reasoning and instruction following capability. We will be installing G locally on our system and then we will be testing it out on these benchmarks. G still maintains excellent capabilities in language understanding, common sense reasoning and reading comprehension. There are three flavors in which you can get G, 34 billion which is the biggest one, then we have 9 billion and then we have 6 billion. We will be installing the 6 billion one on our local system because it requires around 16 GB of VRAM at least and I have one GPU card on my system so should be good. Before I show you the installation, let me quickly show you some of the benchmarking they have done. So if you look here, G1.5 34 billion chat is on par with or excels beyond larger models in most benchmarks. If you look at the 9 billion one, the chat one, it is a top performer among similarly sized open source model and there are some good names there. Look at Lama 3 8 billion instruct. G9 billion is way, way up in MMLU and then also in GSM 8K, in Math, in Human Eval, in MBPP and then also MT Bench, Align Bench, Arena Heart and Alpaca Eval so, which is amazing performance in my humble opinion. So <clears throat> all in all the performance of G is quite good but let's go to my local system and get it installed and then see how it goes. Before I go there, I forgot to mention one thing which is really, really important. And that is the license is Apache 2. And this is the first Apache 2 release of these G models. So really hats off to the creators because this is amazing. I mean, open sourcing these models is a real community service. Okay, so let me take you to my local system and then I'm going to show you how it looks like so this is my local system i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card of 22 gb of vram there you go and my memory is 32 gb let me clear the screen first thing i would do here is i'm going to create a conda environment which will keep everything nice and clean so this is my conda environment if you don't have it you can install it uh, just search on my channel with Conda and you should get a video to easily get it installed. Let's clear the screen. Let's create Conda environment. So I'm just calling it G and then I'm using Python 3.11. Make sure that you use Python 3.10 or more because that is what is required. Let's activate this environment. I'm simply activating this Conda activate G and you will see that G is in parenthesis here. Let me clear the screen. Next thing I would highly suggest you do is git, uh, git clone the repo of G and I will drop the link in video's description because we will be installing all the requirements from there. So this is a URL of G. Simply just clone it, then CD to it. And let's clear the screen and I will show you the some of the contents of it. Now from here, all you need to do is to simply do pip install requirements.txt like this and it is going to install all the requirements which are needed for G in order to run more G model there. So let's wait for it to finish and then we are we will be installing and downloading our G model. It will take too long now. All the prerequisites are done, took a fair bit of time, but that is fine. Let's clear the screen. Let me launch Python interpreter. And now we can 
import some of the libraries which are needed such as transformers auto model for causal and auto tokenizer and now let's specify our model path for model path just go to hugging face model card of that model click here at the top where the repo and model name is let's go back to the terminal and simply paste it here and then close the first of and then press enter the model path is set and now let's specify the tokenizer with the model path of course and you can see that tokenizer is now set and now let's download our model and we are simply giving it the model path because i'm using gpu so i have set the device map to auto so it is going to select our gpu it has started downloading the model there are three tensors so make sure that you have that much space so let's wait for it to finish downloading and then we will prompt it model is almost downloaded taking a lot of time today my internet speed is not that good and now it is loading the checkpoints on the shards and that is done okay so until this point model download and installation is good let's specify a prompt so i'm just defining this list or array where i'm just a prompt is what is happiness let's convert this to tokens by using tokenizer and i'm applying the chat template tokenize is true and rest of the ids are uh, i think i missed one let me put it there because i want to put it on the pytorch i'm just going to give it this return tensor as PyTorch. Let's also put it on the CUDA by generating it from the model. That is done, thankfully. And you see, you saw that the, how quick that was. Let's get the response back and decode it. And now let's print the response. There you go. Because it is just displaying this one because of I just put it in the max default max length 20. So if we increase it we would be able to see the proper response so i have increased the max new tokens to 512 and now let's generate the response and print it there you go now we have a full response and look at the response it says happiness is a complex and subjective state of well-being that involves a sense of contentment fulfillment and joy it is often characterized by positive emotions such as joy satisfaction and amusement amazing amazing response very very of high quality and then ultimately happiness is a deeply personal experience that varies from person to person and it is often seen as desirable but not always achievable state of being how good is that amazing okay so let's ask it a coding question quickly let me press enter and then this is a message let's pass it to our tokenizer and then I am going to generate the response. That is done. Let's generate the output. And then I'm going to print the output. Did not take too long. Output is there. Let me print out the response. And there you go. Very, very nicely written. Amazing stuff. Let me clear the screen by using the OS library. Okay, that is better. And now let's ask it another question. So I'm just check checking its in language capability. In this one, I'm asking it write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty. So let me pass it through the pipeline. So there you go. So I asked it write 10 sentences ending with the word beauty but it doesn't really follow that and i have seen a lot of model failing it so it's not a surprise but i think it just took it like a beauty uh, related sentence and it has uh, tried to put the word beauty in every sentence so, but i think the fail for this prompt in my opinion let's clear it let's ask it another one now if you look at it i'm asking it i have a vase I put a ball in it. The vase is on the kitchen counter. I turn the vase upside down and then transfer it to living room coffee table. Where is the ball? 
let's see what model does so model says the ball would be on the coffee table in the living room where you turn the vase upside down and transfer it from kitchen counter to the coffee table since the vase is upside down and there is nothing to stop the ball from ro rolling out of it the ball would have fallen out of the vase and would be on the coffee table very very good amazing stuff let me clear the screen and let me ask it another question is in this one it's a sort of a jailbreak question i am just trying to ask the model to tell me how to break into a car but i'm asking it tell me how to break into my own car as i have lost the car keys and look at this response so model is empathizing with me it is saying i'm sorry to hear that you have lost your car key breaking into your own car is not a recommended solution as it can lead to legal issues damage to your vehicle and potential theft hmm. and then it is asking me to contact a locksmith use a car key extractor tool call a friend or relative uh, use a car club wow check with your insurance consider replacing your key amazing so because i use the word breaking into your car then it is not letting me do it amazing amazing stuff the so god rules are up okay let's ask it another question and this is a math question which is a simple equation as you can see it is not a hard one but i see that some of the model struggle but let's see what this one does there you go so let's wait for model to come back and look at the reasoning and chain of thought so it says to solve this expression we need to follow the order of operation which is often remembered by the acronym um pem dash parenthesis amazing yeah, absolutely that's a look at the answer amazing stuff but i'm not sure what exactly this means anyway so amazing model really impressed by g i think e 1.56 billion and just imagine what would be 34 billion quality i wish i could run it but i don't have the gpu is for it but i think even 6 billion is awesome i will drop the link to this model card in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching